All right. Hey guys, we're Time6. We're back watching Naruto. This is episode 37. If you enjoy our videos, make sure to leave a like, comment down below your thoughts, and remember to subscribe for future uploads. You can also check out our Patreon page where you can get early access and the full uncut reactions up to six episodes ahead. Link is going to be down below. Help support the channel by checking that out, and let's get started right away. If earthly qualities are what you lack, train your body and prepare to attack. When heaven and earth are open together, the perilous path will become righteous forever. This something is the secret way that guides us from this place today. This Mars. What? A man? A person? <sighs> what? Oh no, this is a summoning jutsu. Naruto! Sakura, quick, get rid of the scrolls! A genie. <laughs> Sensei? Oh! Oh! That is him, right? That's him. Iruka Sensei? Looks like you've gone through a lot in this test. Hey! Wait! What's the deal with the surprise entrance? Why are you appearing with the summoning? <clears throat> At the end of the second exam, we Chunin are supposed to welcome the test takers back. And well, it was just good luck that I got to be the oh, one given oh, the important task them? of being the messenger for you guys. Congratulations, you passed the second exam. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> to celebrate your second. passing, I would love to treat you all to some Is Ichiraku third? ramen. But oh. uh, ramen? Seriously? That's Let's do so it. Cool. <laughs> I'm not done. Said, but. So cool. Let go. Some plants we've had to eat for the past two days. <laughs> yeah, the bugs. So that, uh, the I ramen. Every noodle ever made. <laughs> Where does he get all his energy? <laughs> what? So then if we had looked at the scrolls in the middle of the exam... Huh? What would you have done to us, Iruka Sensei? You have figured out the secret. Part of this exam was to test how well you could see a difficult mission all the way through. You knew that opening the scrolls was against the rules of your mission, and if you had tried to open one. What? What would have happened? If a scroll was opened, we were ordered to knock out whoever opened it. Some ninja found that out the hard way. Knock out. Oh, so they come back. Okay. It's a good thing you didn't open up yours, huh, Naruto? <laughs> <laughs> heaven stands for your mind and earth for your body. If qualities of heaven are your desire, acquire wisdom to take your mind higher. Get it? Bars. Oh, Damn. In other words, if your weakness <laughs> lies in your intellect, Naruto, <laughs> then you have to make doubly sure that you work hard to learn all the information and skills that you need to prepare for your missions. Wow. Naruto. Okay, <laughs> yeah, I get your point. <laughs> and you, Ooh. if earthly qualities you lack, train your body, prepare to attack. Ooh. So if your weakness lies in your physical strength, Sakura, Sakura, then you have to make sure that you work on your physical conditioning every single day. Get Sasuke, these. And Sasuke, Sasuke has both. both. <laughs> he has both, right? Then even a very dangerous mission can become an easy one. So what about that spot with the missing letter? It's the character for person, a reference to you tuning. You see, these five days of survival were to test your abilities as Chunin and to see if you'd be any good at it. And I gotta say, you guys really did magnificently. They did. A Chunin is a leader, a guide. It's a Chunin's responsibility to be aware of the strengths and weaknesses of those serving under him. And to know what skills and training those ninja are going to need in order to succeed on a mission. You did an excellent job on this mission and I want you to remember these instructions on your next one. You gave it to me. I may still be hyper, but I'm not a kid. Like you just said, you I are. got through the second shooting exam, and you watch. I'm gonna pass the third one for sure. Naruto, you're right. I'm sorry about that. Whatever the result, I want to be the one who breaks the news to them. Fine, if you're that hung up on it, then I'll just leave that team in your hands. Oh, he asked for it. Thank you, Uncle. He said oh. he was lucky to Wait, get that. Those guys are Kakashi students, aren't they? You liar! Listen, if Kakashi's got faith in them. Then I wouldn't count them out just yet, Iruka. Hmm. I wonder what he's worried about. It seems to me now that the one who truly understands the strengths and weaknesses of these young ninja best might very well be you, Kakashi. Yep. That's good, but we better get back to business. This Orochimaru is one of the Sani, the legendary three ninja, isn't he? What? He's supposed to be so incredibly powerful that not even the Anbu Black Ops unit could bring him down. I'd heard a rumor that he died, but I guess that wasn't true. According to the rules, we'll have to hold a round of preliminaries first. The first time in five years. Hmm. Is there still many? There were 78 ninja who took that exam. 
Frankly, I'm surprised that even 21 passed. I knew that less than half would make it, but I really thought the number would be in the single digits. Hmm. <laughs> Sasuke and his team have passed too! Well, of course they did. Oh, he thinks he did it? After all the trouble we went through to keep them safe, they better have passed. <sighs> Of course, with my team still around, <laughs> your team is doomed to failure. Uh, doomed after to failure. all, what matters on the next test is ability, and we've got you far outclassed. Well, I guess that part of growing up is learning to deal with heartbreak, huh, Kakashi? Did you say something? <laughs> <laughs> Bruh, I got the Justin Bieber haircut. All right, Kakashi, you win this round. <laughs> you win this round. <laughs> you won without saying anything. <laughs> Guy Sensei is just the coolest teacher ever. <laughs> no, he's not. He is so cool. No one he thinks that. Glows with cool. Not even the haircut. You watch, Guy Sensei. Someday I'll make you proud of me. I do not want to see tears from anyone close to me ever again. Bro, she is not close to you whatsoever. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, that's the <laughs> ultimate sin. Never. I'll get you back for what you did to me, Sasuke. Uh oh, he's no made some enemies. Old man Hokage, Uruka Sensei, and even Bushy Brow. It looks like <laughs> Bushy bro. nobody got left out this time. It's hard to believe that there are so many left after the second test, and so many of them are rookies. All right, now pay attention. Lord Hokage is going to explain the third exam to you. You better listen carefully, maggots. Maggots. <laughs> Maggots, bro. I'm going to tell you the true purpose of these exams. Why do you suppose our country holds these exams in conjunction with our allies? To raise the ability levels of the shinobi and increase friendship between allied nations, to be sure. Hmm. But it's important that you understand its true meaning. The exams are, so to speak... Um... So to speak? They're a representation of the battle between allied nations. If we look at our history, all the countries that we're currently allied with were once neighboring nations that continuously fought with each other for power. Yep. In order to avoid destroying each other's military strength meaninglessly, those nations picked champions to do battle on behalf oh. of their countries at a mutually selected location. That's great, but why do we have to go through these exams then? I mean, it's not like we're doing this to pick tuning to go fight. Well, actually, you are. there is no question that part of the point of these exams is to select shinobi worthy of becoming Chunin. These exams also allow for a place where shinobi can carry the pride of their nation on their backs. Many leaders and people of province the world's from various here. countries Basically. are invited to attend this exam as guests. Oh shit! Also, those rulers will watch your battles and take note of the strengths that each ninja hmm. and each nation is developing. If there is a gap in power between the countries, the strong nations are inundated with job requests for their ninja. And conversely, oh, it the builds our economy. countries that are deemed That's weak smart. decline. Therefore, the stronger our nation is, the better our position when it comes to negotiating with neighboring Socialism. countries. So it's important oh. to show how much And the true strength of the shinobi is only achieved when it's pushed to its limits, such as in a life and death battle. This exam is a chance for each nation to display the strength of its shinobi and hence the strength of the nation itself. It's because this is an exam where your life is on the line that it has meaning. And it's for this very reason and for the strength of the nation that your forerunners fought in this exam. It's truly a dream worth striving for. Bruh. In this economy? <laughs> this is a custom in which balance is preserved by fighting and dying. In the world of the shinobi, that is friendship. The third exam is a fight for life with oh, the pride God. of your village and your own dreams at stake. Oh shit. Please allow me, Hayate Gekko, appointed as proctor of the third exam to speak first. So be it. <laughs> There's something I would like all of you. It's like a uh, life to young do before the third exam. <laughs> it's like a crack it. Oh wait, that's it? That's it. No! Alright guys, thanks for watching the reaction portion of the video. Make sure to stay tuned for the discussion. If there's any part of the episode that we weren't able to keep in the YouTube edit, click the link down below for the full uncut reaction over on Patreon, and let's discuss now. Episode 37. That was a information-heavy episode. Oh yeah. A lot uh, too much sometimes. No, it wasn't that much. Because the first half was all <coughs> like good times with the sensei. Mm -hmm. Uh... Favorite moment for me, I think, it is learning how this yeah, yeah. 
tournament and like mm -hmm. just uh, ally economic system is working. It's interesting. And I want to see how that plays out if the show goes in, in depth with it, mm -hmm. which I'm curious about. I don't know. So that's super interesting to me. Least favorite. I don't think I have one. Yeah, no, I don't. Yeah, my favorite scene just had to be the last part here to see how this whole economy thing works, you know? And economy. seeing how, yeah, these ninjas represent each other, you know what I mean? And their state, I guess, in determining resources and whatnot. Mm -hmm. uh, least favorite, um, maybe the fact that they didn't mention this whole snake thing and all that shit that happened. Like The invasion, you mean? With Aro well, they're not going to tell about this. Yeah. Well, I mean, you think they went it would, because yeah. isn't that a threat? Yeah, right? Unless that threat was a part of this, I don't know. I'm confused I don't now. think it was, because... No, no, no. That we'll was we'll talk about it, no, but yeah, no, no. I don't yeah. know what it was. My favorite was when the sunset was like, um, if you lack not, uh, intelligence... Naruto. Naruto. <laughs> <laughs> He's so right, though. Mm -hmm. Not uh, learning about uh, the tournament and what the purpose is. That was really good. Um, I was wondering just that, uh, like the students that, because he said friendship. I'm like, they're killing each other. Yeah. Like, but then he explained that. Mm. It makes sense. Well, I don't have a least. I could see why people like, like kids would like the show, you know? It's like, it, it's like talking to a kid almost like a, like a student, you know? It's like, know bro, if like you're it. dumb, you got to study harder. That's what he's saying. You know what I mean? And if we're going to school at an elementary age, it's like shit. When you I, say kids, me. what do you mean? Uh, yeah, just, like, this is like not student, you know made I mean? for kids. This is but, not made for yeah. kids. Yeah. This? this is, no, this is what you... not, Bro, we had this fucking discussion. We're not doing no, it again. No, 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 no. We're not doing it again. <laughs> no, 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 no. Before we do that, <laughs> yeah. what do you mean kids? Like Give me an age. No, give us an age. Kids, like it's a kids show, right? So no, no, teens, it's not a kids show. Like not a super kids show, but like, so you know, like, yeah, like a teen, like, you know, say teen, people yeah. that go to school. Does kids mean seven years old? Yeah. Yeah. Kids means child, 12 and Seven year old would not understand this show. Eight, okay, ten to like fucking fifteen. Right. Ten okay, to seventeen. Fine, you know what yeah, I mean? that's fine. Yeah. Alright. I still want to say kids, but yes. <laughs> so we were gonna talk about well, let's talk about the first half first with uh, the sensei. Uh -huh. I was always curious, like, oh, is he just worried cause it's dangerous? Mm. But there's actually more to it. Cause in this third exam. You have to kill, right? Yeah. Isn't that what the guy just said? The third one, you kind of have to. Yeah, kill. you have to kill. Like you're fighting to the death. Yeah. Whereas the other mm. ex uh, last one, you didn't have to fight to the death. You just, you just had to get the scroll and get to the middle. Knock them out, yeah. maybe. But in this one, bodies are confirmed mm -hmm. or guaranteed, right? Mm -hmm. So this, I guess that's why it makes sense. It is kind of crazy if you think about it. I mean, the original story was insane. So it does make sense that if they're keeping the tradition, mm -hmm. that it's still violent as fuck. But mm -hmm. yeah. Well, it makes sense. You know, it's I like, think it makes sense because mm -hmm. in a way, it's better than just sending a bunch of people, like an army, right. to go die. To go die. You know, in a war mm -hmm. or on the battlefield. Yeah, yeah. So and yes, this is still fucked up because they're kids. Kids, <laughs> right? Yeah. Uh, but I mean, yeah, they should. Is be this socialism there. or like what is this? I don't. This is not socialism. We, this is this basically. Is, this is uh, capitalism. No, this is merit merit based, right? Mm -hmm. It's I would say it's capitalism merit, because yeah, it's based on fighting and skill. Yeah. So it's some other ism, some but <laughs> the point is it's still merit based. So that's why I like it. Yeah. Whereas it's not just like oh, just spread it out because we have to. Yeah. You no, know? it's like. When you when someone gets a power, like you kind of have to respect everyone else has to get that power just to equalize the stadium now. You know what I mean? Or the playing field, right? Wait, what are you saying? That's what it is, basically. That's not what it is. No, it's like. Wait, what are you? Wait. It's like. What are you understanding from the like, explanation? It's like when you have a nuke, right? Yeah. And then like now the other nations need a nuke too, or else they're gonna get obl obliterated. That's, that's basically not what, what they it is. said at all. Okay, the student is the nuke. The student. Wait, wait. That's not what they said at that's all. That's what you can compare it okay, to. Okay. Okay. You compare to what that. did they say? They yeah. said the people that fight, yeah. the winners uh -huh. have more respect with the scouts so that they have more opportunities. This is not about balancing like every every uh, Didn't they say they were fighting for resources and shit? They're yeah, fighting. But they're not balancing yeah. it out. They're like, oh, just because you have a good fighter, they have to have a good fighter. 
They're just bringing their own people. It's like it's like normal sports. I swear right? I heard that. I swear it was like what, what did you hear? I um like each of the nations whatever brought like their own people or whatever. Yeah. So like a sport, yeah. Yeah. So now there's now it's like they kind of respect each it's, other because now they know that oh you're fucking okay. strong. Is okay, it, so we're gonna give you some water. No, or whatever. It's not, That's what it was. That's what I got it from. That's what is I got it like from this. How yeah. uh, like a draft works? So the team that loses yeah. gets to pick the next best thing. What do you mean? So you, you know how drafts work? Yes. Yeah, okay. So yeah. let's say they fight, right? Yeah. And the worst player, mm -hmm. okay, the one that ends last, he gets to pick the best player because they get a pick from these players. Okay, right. bro. I need yeah, to well, we got to rewatch it. I need to rewatch it. Everyone, it was a lot. We're no confused. one say anything, okay? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Let me just fucking hear this. <laughs> nah, that show is confusing as fuck. It's let's not be real. Like we're doing this to pick tuning to go fight. Well, actually, there is no question that part of the point of these exams is to select shinobi worthy of becoming Chunin. That's just not the whole story. These exams also allow for a place where shinobi can carry the pride of their nation on their backs and fight against other ninja for their very lives. The pride of their nation? Many leaders and people of prominence from various countries are invited to attend this exam as guests and also possibly to seek shinobi to work for them. This exam could determine the course of your ninja work from here on out. And more importantly, those rulers will watch your battles and take note of the strengths that each ninja and each nation is developing. If there is a gap in power between the countries, the strong nations are inundated with job requests for their ninja. Yeah. And conversely, the requests to countries that are deemed weak decline. Therefore, the stronger our nation is, the better our position. Oh, okay. Yeah, so it's so not, that makes yeah. sense. Okay. So that's why I was getting thrown off by the socialism work. Yeah, no. Because yeah. nothing's being balanced out. No, yeah. Basically, the I best part, one, yeah. the best uh, performing nation mm -hmm. gets all the opportunities because of the scouts. Yeah. yeah. And the respect that comes along with it. Yeah. yeah. So that's what I understood in the first place. But what you're saying applies to one step before in the exam. Mm. Every nation gets their opportunity to enter and mm. enter, you know yeah. mm. uh, show, showcase. Yeah, showcase basically. Yeah. It so, could develop like better ninjas over time. Like it's not like a, oh, and we even saw that because we saw year. a new nation enter this exactly, time, yeah. which is the the desert of the sand. The one. sand guys, and right? it's it's and they seem like uh, the underdogs, like because no one knows about that. Oh no, not desert. The uh, sound one. Sound, sound. Yeah, yeah, sound. Sound. Yeah. yeah. So like no one knows anything about them because. Probably they've been weak for so long, so no one cared about them until mm -hmm. now. Until now they feel yeah. like, oh, now we gotta prove ourselves. You know? Okay, so I guess makes sense. the ones that are good at whatever are powerful are just flourishing nations. Yeah. They're just super fucking yeah, it goes rich. Yeah, hand in hand. Yeah. And, yeah. and the and more I, opportunity you get, the more likely you are to stay at at the top. Mm. But while you're up here, you kind of lose sight of what's down here. And then people can just sneak up on you, right? Mm -hmm. Which is kind of what we're seeing with like the sand and sound people, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So sense. before this, he was saying that they're all scrapping at one point. Well, that was back in the day. Yeah, uh, yeah. Historical. So this, this equaled everything out. Okay. This is a way to do it without a bunch Setting of bodies, army. civilians yeah. dying, civilians dying, mm. uh, all the pillaging, all that stuff. Yeah. It's like a, it's like, a, it's like a good way of um, how do you say it, man? It's like, it's, the like peace. You, it's like you lose a game and you're just like, yeah, oh, it's, it's a way of keeping the peace. Yeah. You consented and to to come into the game, you lose. Yeah, and you know? the game like, is kind of yeah. like those uh, those gladiator games. Yeah. In like, uh, yeah, it is. Yeah. yeah, it is. So it's an interesting concept. Yeah. And it seems like it could work here in this nation, at least. <laughs> in this yeah. nation, yeah. I don't know about anywhere else. <laughs> but. So yeah, that's a very interesting. All right. I got thanks for watching our reaction for Naruto episode 37. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like and comment down below your thoughts. We'll see you in the next episode. Peace.